up for you at 10. We are in the heart of hail season in southern Colorado, the months of May and June. The highest average for hail loss claims and to help prevent hail damage, the city of Colorado Springs is considering an ordinance that would allow carports either in the front or backyard of homes. Our News 5's Aaron Chapman has more. Springtime in Colorado Springs can be a bit dicey. It clouds up and rains, you know, in the afternoon, and a lot of times they're pretty serious. You get hail, lightning, flash floods. And many folks don't have a way to protect their cars when bad weather hits. It's the damage it does to these cars is, is pretty extensive. My truck has had hail damage up the size of quarters. I mean, it still does. It, you know, you get money back from insurance, but it doesn't pay to fix it. As of right now, the city of Colorado Springs prohibits carports, which is a structure designed to protect a vehicle from the weather. But back in January, city council met with one neighborhood group who asked the city to reconsider its ban on the ports. I don't see a problem with it. I don't see that it's a big deal. I think people kind of have the right to protect their vehicles. But you get them off the street, you avoid hail damage, you avoid accidents, and you know, you keep people from breaking into your car. Now you might notice there are carports in parts of the city, and while they are not legal, the city says they plan to work with those property owners so they don't have to tear them down. We'll make sure everyone understands the provisions of whatever code is adopted so that we can make it uh, less of a headache for everybody involved. If approved, the carports will be allowed either in the front or back of any single or multifamily property. We tried to come up with something that was that met the, the safety criteria, make sure that these carports are properly anchored and that they provide uh, visibility when cars are backing in and out. And finally, the city says it's important for people who may be getting a carport to follow the manufacturer's specifications. We get really high winds here at times, and the last thing you want is that carport to catch the wind and blow away, not just because it's your investment, but because there's some liability if your structure blows away and causes damage to somebody else. News 5's Aaron Chapman reporting for us tonight. Now, if City Council passes the ordinance, carports could start going up as early as July 12th. City Council, though, wants to hear from you, and we can, you can find a link to a questionnaire put out on the city's website.